Hello friends, today we are going to see how to make custom ID generator in Laravel 8. You can use this method when you want to make a unique ID for students, appointments, invoices, and so on. Let's see how to do it. Start server by entering php artisan serve command in terminal. As you can see, we are on Laravel 8. Create model by entering php artisan make colon model student dash m command in terminal. This will generate student.php file under models folder and migration file under database migrations directory. Let's modify student table structure. After this, enter php artisan migrate command in terminal. As you can see, our students table has been created inside Laravel database. This is structure of students table. Under views directory, create home folder. and inside home folder create index.blade.php file. Link bootstrap framework on our page. Create controller by entering php artisan make colon controller student controller. Inside student controller class, create index function that will hold our form. Create root for index method. Let's design our page layout by using bootstrap classes.
Create save post route. Let's use save root name on form action attribute. Create save function under student controller class. Let's test if we can get requested name input. As you can see, we have received name and token input values. After this, let's create a generator function under our helper class. If you did not watch how we created this helper, Please see the video link in description below that show you how to create custom helper in Laravel 8. Create public static function ID generator. First argument will be dollar $model that will hold our model. Second argument will be dollar $tro that will hold table row name. Third argument will be dollar $length stands for ID length. Fourth argument will be prefix. This is our e-generator function. Let's use id generator function in our student controller. Dollar student underscore name is equal to the requested name input. Remember to include use app backslash helpers backslash helper in order to use our helper class in student controller. Then dollar student underscore ID will be like this. As we seen before, First argument is model, our model is student. This is our student's table. Second argument will be table row name, for our example, our row name is student underscore id. Third argument is ID length.
our default is 4, but let's set to be 5. Lastly, fouth argument is id prefix. Here we use std stands for student. Remember to include our student model on student controller by adding use app backslash models backslash student. Let's test. Good, our data has been inserted, let's see in database students table. As you can see, our first student has been saved with student underscore ID of std-00000 ID. Let's see if we try to insert second student. As you can see, John Peter saved with student underscore ID of std-00001. Suppose if this Peter has ID of STD-99999, what will be the next ID? So, every last ID will be incremented by 1. You can use this method on appointments and invoices ids. If you didn't subscribe, please hit subscribe button and you will get notification that show you if new video is uploaded on our channel. Thanks for watching this video.